Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Um, today I want to show you how you can create your very own coloring um, Valentine's card. I know you've seen the ones that Cricut has and you've seen lots of other ones that people have done. Well, I want to show you how you can create your own, like with your own images that you want on there. You do need Cricut access for this because we are going to start with a Cricut project. So I'm going to come over here to projects and I'm going to type in Valentine coloring card and it's this first one that comes up right here so go ahead and just start this project like you're going to be doing it hit customize and wait it's a big project so it's going to take just a minute to load and we're not going to use hardly any of this but there's some little features on here that we need to use for our own cards. Okay, so once it loads, you're going to want to um, just get rid of a lot of it. So I'm down to just one card here. Let me um, detach this card, and the only thing I need to keep are these little holes for the crayons. So I can get rid of everything else on this card. Um, yeah, I can even get rid of this white part. Whoops! detach that and then I can get rid of it okay so now I have my little holes this is really all I needed um, I have not figured out a way to recreate this exactly um, without pulling it off of the card so just go pull it off of the card um, for the cards that I am making though they are gonna have three crayons so I want to duplicate this and then line them up together I'm going to select all of that, come to align, and I'm going to align the left edges just to make sure they are perfectly aligned. Then I'm going to weld all of that together. Uh, you can see I've got four here, but I only want three. So I'm going to come get a square. I'm going to unlock it, make it a little bit bigger here so that I can scooch it up. Okay, now I'm going to slice. So I'm going to just select all of this and slice. And then you can see now I just have my three um, little crayon holes that I need. Okay, um, I'm going to insert the card pattern that I want also. So I'm going to come over to images and I'm going to put in tags, if I spell that right. Scroll down until I find just the tag I'm looking for. Where is it? I, as soon as I find it, I will give you, here it is. Um, the tag number for this is number M8EEE889. So you can type that in right here and it will pull this tag right up for you. So insert that into your project. Okay, and we want to size this tag. I'm going to unlock it. We want it to be five inches high and three inches wide. And you'll see why that is in just a second. And now I need to grab another square And I also want this square to just be three inches wide. I'm going to unlock it. Kind of started at the top of my card, but not too far up. Drag it to be roughly the size of your tag, but just to make sure we're perfect, we're going to select them both, come to align and align bottom. And then we want to weld all of that together. And I want to turn it white because my cardstock is white. Okay, so now we have the actual shape of our card. Um, you don't need this line. I'm just putting it in here for visual references for you. So you can see this is where the card is going to fold um, or where you're going to cut. Because at the end, this little part is going to be a bookmark. I'm going to hang a string from this. So once they're done coloring it, they can keep this bookmark part. Okay, so let me move these to the front. These are our crayon holes. 
and I want them to be this way. And I also want them to be smaller. So I'm just going to position them onto the card. And you don't need to worry about what size these holes are. As long as you didn't make it super tiny, it's going to be fine because they're already bigger than the crayon itself. So it's going to be fine. Just put that on there. Kind of eyeball it where you think you need it to be. Um, I'm going to take this line out for now. Select everything and attach. Okay, so we've got the base. This is this is what we're going to start with. And now we need to insert the um, design that we want to have our little friend's color on. So upload. Um, I've got a couple in here. I'm going to do this unicorn. But I've got another video that shows you how to turn any SVG into a coloring file. This was an SVG and I turned it into this coloring file. The same with this, it was an SVG that I turned into a coloring file. I'm going to link to that video. So if you don't have a coloring file already and you want to create one of your own, go check out that video uh, and learn how to do it. So I'm going to put my little unicorn in here. Not little unicorn. <laughs> Let me make that smaller. Okay. I'm just kind of size it and place it where I want it. Okay. Now what I need to do here is right now this is set to cut. I don't want it to cut. I want it to draw. I want to use my Cricut pens. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put it to draw. And you can see it turned into a draw file. So now let me delete this score line. We don't need that. You can see it's going to cut my card, my whole shape. It's going to cut my little crayon holes, and it's going to draw my unicorn. I want to attach all of that. Okay, because I don't want anything moving around. And now to get my words. Text. Um, have a... I'm going to change my font here. You can make this whatever font you want, but I'm going to use this Alphalicious font. Um, I think it's way too spaced out, so I'm going to change my letter spacing to 0.5. And then I'm going to take it from regular to writing. Okay, so have a, then my next line I want wonderful day. Okay, again, it's pretty spaced out, so I'm going to take the let, uh, letter spacing to a 0.5. Okay, line those up. Select all of that, make it a lot smaller, and get it over here on my card. Just kind of put it wherever you want it. Um, it Because I put it into the writing, it's already set to draw, but I want to change the color of that. I don't want it black. I'm going to make it this candy crystal. Okay, and again, because I don't want anything to move, attach. Okay, and then I need my to and my from. So, to, from. And I'm going to change my letter spacing to 0.5, just like the others. But I'm going to change my line height, too. That's too far apart for my preference. I'm going to put it at, like, negative 5. That's a lot better. Shrink it down, put it on the card where I want it, and I'm going to turn this the same color that I had my other writing. Again, select everything, attach, and that's it. You have made your card. You hit make it, and it's going to draw and cut. Like if I were to continue this, oh, um, also you can fit four of these on one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. I change this to four. It's going to tell you that you can't. Oh, but you can. Take this one, rotate it this way, stick it over there. Come to mat two, select your first one, get these little dots, move to another mat, put it on mat one. Gonna bring it down here. 
And the same thing here. Come to mat two, select, get your dots, move to mat one, and I'm going to turn it this way. Okay. So now they're all on one uh, 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So you can make four of these at a time. If I hit continue, it's going to tell me exactly what to do and when. I've got two different color pins going on plus a cut. So first it's going to tell me to load the black pin. So it's going to draw all of my unicorns first. When that's done, it's going to stop. The Cricut machine will stop and the, the C button will start to flash again and it will tell me to load my uh, blue pen. And when that's done, it'll just automatically go cut the cards out. And that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and ask. And other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much.